1988, I committed a crime, and I was facing 100 years in prison. And and after a couple of days of being in jail, I was laying on my bed, and I began to reflect back on my life. How as a child I sang in church and seen a lot of people smile, seen a lot of people come to the altar. And and as I grew older, I got married and I had children. And over time, I turned to drugs and drinking and wound up in jail here. And I was wondering how all that could happen to me and why all that happened to me. And as I lay on my bed, a feeling came over me, a strange, funny feeling. And I, I got down on my knees and I began to pray. And the next day, when I came to myself, I was down on my knees and my shirt was soaking wet with sweat and tears where I had prayed all night long. So I eased back up on my bed and and after a couple of days a tune came to my mind and I began to hum that tune and I hummed that tune for a couple of days and then words began to come to me. So I took out my pencil and paper and I wrote the words down and after I'd finished writing down all the words I had uh, it, the words fit the tune that I had been humming and here's what it here's what it said As I lay here late at night Looking back at my wrong and my right, I get a strange funny feeling other than fear. I know I ran from my God for so long, always losing, never knowing what's wrong, until the day that I heard God whisper in my ear, I love you. I want you Even though you have ran for so long I need you I miss you I'll help you Was a whisper in my ear that said I love you When I woke the next day at dawn I felt I woke into a new home Everything seemed so peaceful, calm, and new All my worries had gone away My life had changed into a new day All because of the whisper that I always knew I love you I want you Even though you have ran for so long I need you I miss you I'll help you Was a whisper in my ear that said I love you Yes, God whispered in my ear I love you God told me that night that he would help me and he told me that he needed me and he told me that he would help me and he also told me that he loved me. And God proved that love. And God proved that he would help me. 
and God proved that he needed me by this song. On a ship of sin and shame With the mighty wind and the rain I'd lost my sail and rudder in the sea It was dark and it was cold I had nothing to hold Dear Lord, do you reach right down and rescued me You rescued me Pick me up from out of sin You put my feet back on the rock again You sent your mighty hand down, Lord And you rescued me I should have known what was in my way Before I left that very day Dear Lord, I'm sorry, please rescue me I didn't mean to fall from your care that old devil caught me in his snare I'm sorry, Lord, please set me free And you rescued me You rescued me You sent your mighty hand down, Lord, and you rescued me You picked me up from out of sin Put my feet back on the rock again Take your mighty hand down, Lord, and you rescued me. You said your mighty hand down, Lord, and you rescued me. You said your mighty hand down, Lord, and you rescued me. When I went before the judge to be tried, uh, they tried me and uh, the judge looked at me and he said son I don't know why I'm going to do this he said but I'm going to sentence you to 10 years in prison and so I I got 10 years sentence and when I went to the prison camp they cut that 10 years down to five years and on good behavior and not getting into any trouble or anything while I was in prison I wound up doing three years in prison and I got out on parole and I was only on parole for six months and then I was free and clear again and that's when I wrote this song. I've done things man can't forget. They won't forgive, but I regret that I've done wrong. Christ forgave my every sin. Every bit, most every 
You know, the whole time that I was in prison, I never had one moment's trouble out of anybody. I got a good job of working at the uh, at the chapel with uh, Mr. Kinchy. He's such a great man, and his wife is really, really nice. And I could go out there and spend all day long and write songs and poems and letters to my family and just just have a great time with Mr. Kinchy and it was a wonderful wonderful time that I spent there and I went through the DART program that's Drug and Alcohol Recovery Treatment Center in Raleigh North Carolina while I was in prison and I learned a whole lot about drinking and what it can do to your mind and what it does to your body. And I learned a lot about that. And I don't drink today because of that. And I thank God for that. The crown of thorns that you wore were my sins by the score. The things I used to say and think made the vinegar that you drink. Can you ever forgive me, Jesus, for growing such a tree and all the pain that you suffered, all because of me? Can you ever forgive me, Jesus, for the things I done to thee, for the shame that I caused you on Mount Calvary? For your blood that spilled upon the ground And your tears that twinkled down Can you ever forgive me, Jesus And turn my life around? The pierce in your side Was made by my pride And the stripes on your back Were laid by my wrong tracks And your hands and your feet Are where my sins went in deep Can you ever forgive me, Jesus and set my heart free. Yes, you forgave me, Jesus, for the things I'd done to you. You looked down from glory and made me whole and new by your blood that spilled upon the ground and the tears that you cried down. Yes, you forgave me, Jesus, and you turned my life around. The sad thing is, when I got out of prison, I did all right for the first year. But then after the first year, I found myself turning my back on God again. I didn't turn back to drinking and drugs. No, sir. But I I got involved with a woman and... And... And I got sick and I had a heart attack and I wound up in the hospital and I had major surgery on my heart and when I got out of the 
hospital I fell and I broke all the bind, bindings that tied my breastbone together I broke all them apart and I had to have emergency breast reconstruction surgery well that stopped me from working right there that put me on disability and my health has just failed and failed and failed ever since and now I sit at home and trying to find my way back to God trying to seek his forgiveness for being such a fool for being so stupid for being so ignorant and dumb but God has forgiven me because he's let me write a lot of songs and I thank God for that and I try to share the songs that God let me write in every way that I can I have them listed on Facebook and I have them listed on YouTube and I've even wrote several books but um, God is God is uh, helping me along I'm paying the price for not doing God's will but I, I pray that God will forgive me in the end and see fit not to send me to a burning torment. Thank you.
house has been cleaned up and all sin thrown out. The Holy Spirit moved right in and he's very stout by the word of God. My life rearranged. Oh, yes, praise God. I've been changed. I've been changed by the blood of Jesus. I've been washed from my sins and I've been set free. Now I want to tell you that I'm a new creature by the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ that's living in me. In my father's house are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place for you. I'll come again and receive you, that where I am, you can be too. Jesus said it, and I believe that. Jesus said it, and I believe that it is true, that He is coming one day for me and for you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I go. But I'll come back someday. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, I give to you. The Holy Ghost in my name will teach you all things to your remembrance whatsoever I say to you Jesus said it and I believe that it's true that he is coming one day for me and for Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I go, but I'll come back someday. I go, but I'll come back someday.
When I was just a small boy, singing for Jesus was a joy to watch the people smile their troubles away. My brothers and I would harmonize, the tears would start to flow from the people's eyes. We're spreading God's love every day. Spreading God's love is the only back on that mountain when you feel so low to help you get that feeling again that God is your best friend so I'm spreading God's love because he's there until the end I remember walking up the church aisle daddy's guitar stretched a mile seemed like it weighed a whole ton but the rhythm that came from those strings Made the whole church and the angels sing We spreaded God's love when we were done Spreading God's love is the only way I know To lift me back on that mountain When you feel so low To if you get that feeling again that God is your best friend So I'm spreading God's love Because He's there until the end Yes, I'm spreading God's love Because it's free from above When I reach that land Of no more sorrow I want to join that band that very tomorrow. I want to join right in, praising and singing. Glory to share, I will always be there, loving this feeling. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait for that moment. For that moment when Jesus comes down. Be right there, gonna be right there, praising and shouting, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, singing I'll be. Got him in my heart, and he's always on my mind. I'll be singing for him through all of time. And when he comes for us in that great rain, I'll be standing right there. Praise his name, I'll be on that train. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait for that moment. For that moment when Jesus comes down. When Jesus comes down for me. I'm gonna be right there. Praising and shouting, Hallelujah! Glory to God, Hallelujah! Singing, I'll be. Glory to God, Hallelujah! Singing, I'll be.